Hi, I'm Jay Goldman, the host of Mr. Mobile. Today we're going to take a look at taking photos on your Palm Pre. The camera application is located inside of the launcher. And we'll activate the camera, which is found on the back of the Pre. The camera also includes an LED flash, which you can use for illuminating objects. It's not as bright as a xenon flash you may see on some other phones, but it does much better than not having a flash at all. The camera does not include zoom, so if you want to move in closer to an object, you need to do so manually. There's no autofocus capability like we've seen on the new iPhone release either, so there isn't an ability to focus on nearer or further objects. Flash control allows you to turn the flash to auto, on, or off. And when you're happy with the composition of your photo, like our little picture of Strongbad here, Tap on the picture button to take the actual photo. You can access your photos by tapping on the photo icon here, which will launch the photos application. And take you to the photo that you've just taken. From here, you can use the action menu to do things like assign it to a contact, share it via email or MMS, or upload to one of the supported pho photo services, in this case, to my Facebook account. You can also set it as wallpaper on the phone, which allows you to then crop and edit the photo to get it to where you'd like it to be. I'm going to put strong bad down in the corner, and then set as wallpaper, which will now make him the wallpaper on my actual phone. Normally in the card view, different applications are actually live while you're seeing them. Camera is one of the only ones that doesn't stay live because it would be too much processor load. So when you switch out to card view, which is the multi-application view that you see here, the camera actually freezes the last image and overlays a camera icon. One thing to note about taking self-portraits on the phone, which lots of people like to do, opening the back shows you a mirror which makes it a lot easier to line up the shot of yourself when you're taking it. If you'd like to get your pictures off of the camera, off of the phone, other than sending them to something like Facebook, you can plug into the micro USB port using the cable that comes with your palm and synchronize those to your computer by using the USB drive setting and then accessing the palm like a USB drive and taking the photos out of the DCIM folder, which is the same thing that you would see on a normal digital camera. If you have software on your computer for taking photos off of a camera, like Picasa or iPhoto, it should recognize the pre as a digital camera and automatically launch the import mode. One final note on the photos application, which you can also access by going into the launcher and choosing Photos. This is where you configure the different accounts that you'd like it to sync with. So as with most Palm applications, the Preferences and Accounts option in the menu will allow you to add different accounts that you can synchronize photos to. Photos supports Facebook and Photobucket. It's a shame that it doesn't support more options like Flickr, but putting them into Facebook or Photobook bucket definitely makes them available online and easier to share with your friends. Thanks for watching our episode about photos on the Palm Pre. Stay tuned for the rest of the series to learn more about your device.